Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. I have to show you something that I am so excited about. This year, in this quarter acre, no-till organic, sustainably planted market garden, we're doing something different. And this thing that we're doing is going to change the way we grow food here. All throughout the garden, or areas that are called pollinator friendly spots, pollinator houses, watering centers, plenty of flowering, nutritiously dense cover crops in one spot. If you see back here, look at that. There's nothing there but that patch of potatoes, right? Nothing but the potatoes. But what's coming up are black wool sunflower seeds, zucchini, sweet corn, dent corn, all that's planted, <clears throat> seeded out here. Now it hasn't come up yet, but once it does, this patch of flowers you see right here is intentional. It's red clover, it's yellow. I just came out, your little yellow flowers, I just came out here yesterday and put uh, dandelions as well as, um, tansy and like two or three other flowering herbs that will come up right here. There's also peppermint. There is another one. Now all of that might look messy to you, but really what I'm doing guys, I'm providing cover crops and areas for my pollinators to go. Areas where they can be fed. It's going to attract bees. It's going to attract parasitic wasps going to attract butterflies, moths, dragonflies. It's a place to encourage them to come into the ecosystem that is my garden, okay? So you have to think about what do you need to make plants grow. It's more than triple 13 and pesticide. I don't use any pesticide. So what I have to do is create areas where my beneficial bugs can come. They can come, they can find shade, they can find water, they can find housing. I'm basically encouraging legal migrants into my garden to do for me what chemicals normally do for most of you. I don't want the chemicals. So to avoid the chemicals, I then have to recreate a natural environment where pests have predators. And the only way to do that is balance the ecosystem by putting what is needed for the predatory beneficial bugs to come. So I guess I just had like a major moment. Oh, these deer flies. Mm -mm. Come on now, this thing's bite, they hurt. I just had a moment, you guys really did kind of makes you think is this what governments around the world and western countries are doing they see us as prey and they're literally bringing in the predators the single fighting age men all over our countries i'm just saying i'm just saying a light bulb went when I was just talking to you guys, so I thought I would share that. Not to turn gardening into political, but nowadays what isn't political. Okay. So I really hope that that helps you think outside the box. You literally can have a beautiful garden, everything rowed up just as pretty as can be in dead center or catty quarter to one side. You can pop in some herbs, some flowering plants, some clover, and you just leave it. You can just still see it right there. You just leave it. You make sure that you heavy mulch around it so it doesn't get out of control and take over your garden. You are going to have to weed the perimeters to keep it where you want it. Okay, it's going to take a little work, but it's going to pay back dividends. It really is. And so I wanted to show you guys that this morning before I ran off to do my, all my errands I have to run. Put in little pollinator areas around the plants that need pollinators 
so that you get a higher yield of fruits and vegetables. Something else I'm doing around my squash, my cucumber, I planted hot peppers. Let me cucumber plant hot peppers, okay? Like in a little circle. Hot pepper, cucumber plant. Also, around my sweet corn, I planted zucchini. Kind of like the three sisters, but I didn't put in the peas or the beans because your corn and, you know, your Cupert family, they work well together, okay? So you can plant those as companion plants. One's going tall, one's going to run on the earth. So my zucchini plants are going to keep down the weeds under my corn and keep the critters from getting too close to the corn because I don't like those prickly, itchy leaves. Really hope this helps. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to support what we do here at Storky Formstead. I'm going to drop in comments ways that you can donate to the channel. We really appreciate it. You know, YouTube demonetized us like they did all Christian conservative platforms. You guys be blessed.